Hi everyone! So, just uploaded a video on this month's theme, which is Karuna Compassion. I included a reading from BKS Yenga's Light on Yoga, the succinct summary of the message of the reading is that compassion is not just pity or karuna is not just pity or, or compassion but rather he says it's compassion coupled with devoted action and i think the the point i really want to stress in this message in this month is that compassion love is an action it is a verb it is showing not only showing but also doing so it's not just a whole lot of talk, you don't say nothing. It's it's really, really getting off your bum bum and doing what you can to help. Whether that is in your community, in your family, with yourself, with all three, with the world, online, wherever you, you find your voice will resonate loudest, you know. And if you feel that you don't have a voice, begin starting to show compassion for yourself because you do. Your voice is heard, your voice is recognized. If it isn't, and yes, there are cases in which unfortunately many voices are not being heard, please get in touch with me. I will listen, I want to listen, and I want to hear your story. I want to be able to be a part of your journey and growth and change and positive change because at the heart of what I'm doing with these videos is trying to cultivate positive change specifically aimed at people struggling with similar things I've struggled with. So depression, mental health, and addiction, food and drugs. Um, I will talk a bit more about this in detail in the next few months. Today, however, this is a short warm-up video, and I'd like to teach you a little bit about the modified vinyasa. So to begin though, just find a comfortable seat, find your your sukhasana, cross-legged seated pose. You can have two blocks underneath your bums, underneath your sitting bones, or a blanket or a bolster. Just make sure that your hips are higher than your knees. Sit up tall, begin to nestle your sitting bones down into the earth, into the block, into the cushion. You can close your eyes, just listen to my voice, trust my voice. You don't need to look at the screen. Resting your hands on your knees, take a mudra. So the first S is a seat. The second S in our dhyana meditation is our seal. Seal, mudra, that you could take the chin mudra. Folding your forefinger into the third crease of your thumb and just resting your hands on your knees, palms up or down, whatever resonates with you today, wherever you are in this world. Closing your eyes, sit up tall. Crown of the head, Sahasrara Chakra, going tall into the sky, into the ceiling. Your eyes are soft, your face is soft. No tension anywhere. We cannot expand if we are tense mentally, physically, spiritually. Relaxing your belly, there's no forced breathing. The third S is just to sit still, stiti. Cultivating a sense of stiti in our asana, in our seat for meditation and in our mind. Just begin to witness your breath. No forced breathing. Just witness your body breathe itself. You know how to breathe. It's my teacher Stu G always says to us, he tells us we know how to breathe. We don't have to force this. So relax your belly, sit up tall, soften your face, and just watch, just watch and witness the Gita, Bhagavad Gita talks about verse 4.38, path of spiritual wisdom, and 4.18, the inaction in action and vice versa. The only inaction being the inaction of the ego. Ashmita. The ahamkara, the I-self, the small I. 
Yoga is a journey of transcendence, a spiritual journey of ego transcendence. We begin with ahimsa, the prerequisite to listening to what the universe tells us, Chip Levine says in his Yoga Sutras app. Learning to be kind, ahimsa, being the first yama, the first universal morality of restraint, how we conduct ourselves in life, these five yamas and five niyamas providing us a, a framework for living ethically today. Our first yama, ahimsa, non-harming to ourselves, to others, the world, the planet, animals, is very, very closely linked to compassion, karuna. So when you ask, how do I show myself love? How do I show myself kindness? Begin by breathing, by remembering to breathe, coming back to your breath, closing your eyes, sitting up tall. Breathing is the first thing we do when we enter this world and the last thing we will do when we leave it. So it is a ubiquitous part of being human. We all share this. Breathing brings us together. It creates common ground. Common ground is very closely linked to compassion. So walking around your neighborhood and your community, try and, try and find out what brings you together with others. What is it that unites you? And you'd be surprised how often this is, this is something very rudimentary. Breath, something we, we often overlook. It's immense power healing power, singing, chanting, dancing. We all share these joys, these, exp these forms of expression, of growth. Creativity. And just learning that you, and realizing that you really do have a voice. <clears throat> Sit up tall, keep your eyes closed. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little tickle in my throat. Just keep witnessing your breath, sitting up tall, relaxing your belly, relaxing your jaw. Eyes are soft. Space between your eyebrows, your Ajna Chakra, command place, place of intuition, imagination. Third eye chakra. Witnessing your thoughts, watching them pass by, whatever they are, just let them come. Acknowledging each thought. When you acknowledge a thought, you let it go, you embrace it, you recognize it, and it is quickly replaced by something new. Eventually, with patience, with constant practice, your constant practice, your abhyasa, with loving kindness, maitri, and karuna, compassion, perseverance, bit by bit progress, yoga karma, eventually you will discover a place of stillness, stiti, mental stillness, your chitta, your consciousness will rest, find peace, find a place of stillness, a sanctuary, an in-between space, a space which you will feel loved, you are accepted, where there is almost coming together of time and space, everything slows down. Imagine this space, filled with sunshine, filled with love, filled with people that make you feel good, filled with your favorite pet, animal, your siblings, your family, blood or not, a place of absolute pure love. Bring your hands together now at your heart center, Anjali Mudra, prayer, thumbs into your sternum, Sitting up tall, opening up your chest, eyes are still closed. Opening with the Guru Mantra. Om. 
Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devu Maheshvara, Guru Sakshat, Param Brahma, Tajmai Shri Guru Vey Namaha, Lokaha Samasta, Sukino Bhavantu, Om, 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 Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Keep your eyes closed and use this time to set your intention, set a devotion to offer up your practice to someone you love, someone you find challenging perhaps. Make it a selfless practice, a selfless act, a yajna, and devote it up to someone else less fortunate than you, to the many people suffering. Come back to this intention, remembering yoga is not something we practice off the mat. Yoga is bhakti, devotion. It is love. It is compassion. When you're ready, inhale, open your eyes, exhale, hands down by your, by your side. So just warm up quickly, bring your hands together, rub them really fast, really, really fast, 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 and reach your arms up into the air. <sighs> Big sigh out. <laughs> bring your hands down by your side. Small circles with your wrists in one direction and the other direction, making time to warm up our wrists. Press your hand forward, bringing your fingers back towards you. Now change direction, bringing your hand, your fingers facing down, pulling your fingers towards you. Not too, not too hard, just opening up the wrist. On the other side now, pulling it back and upside down. Really making extra, extra time to look after those, those wrists and the ankles. So when you're ready, take your blocks, place them to one side or your pillow. Please don't practice today if you have um, any health, health, severe injuries. If you are pregnant in your first 12 weeks, please do not practice. And after you have had a child in your first eight weeks, please do not practice. Make sure you have clearance from your doctor. This is a practice of love, of ahimsa, non-harming. So don't do anything that's going to cause you or anyone else any harm. Take it easy. And remember, yoga is not holistic gymnastics. So this is about having fun, about playing, and about learning, and about sharing. Hopefully, also a space where you can feel safe. So just take it easy. And we're just practicing a few warm-ups. I'd like to sh share with you a modification of... A vinyasa. Vinyasa meaning to move in a special way. Every movement is actually a vinyasa because when we move with intention, when we move with love, we're moving uniquely in a special way. So vinyasa is not something we practice on the mat. Vinyasa is how we live. That is really a, a message to share with others, please. For today, however, instead of our Instead of going into your Chaturanga, Upward Facing Dog, Urdhva Mukha Savanasana, Exhale, Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Savanasana, I'm going to teach you a modification which I would highly recommend for warming up. You could take this as a warm up or before you begin your Surya Namaskara, a sun salutation, a, or just as a modification if you are feeling you're not quite ready for Chaturanga Dandasana, for limb staff pose, where your upper arm is at right angles to your forearm. Currently, that is something I'm still, still working with, still struggling a bit with, so it really is okay to pull the reins back. And just to take it slow, remember this isn't a race, this isn't a marathon, let alone a race. Um, not a race, let alone a marathon. And explore these other options, explore these other ideas. We, we learned all sorts of modifications and variations and there's so much fun and having fun with your blocks as well so if you do have two blocks or two books with you please get them out I would like you to come to your all fours your tabletop Vamanasana and just make small circles to the right so have a look at your hands spread your fingers really wide Make sure your knees are hip width distance apart. Have a little look down. Check out your feet. Make sure they aren't splaying out, that they are parallel. If you have a cork brick, you can place it between your knees to get the correct alignment. Otherwise, 
middle finger in line with your shoulder, in line with your knee, in line with your big toe. That's a good option. Just to check your alignment. And just begin to make circles to the right. Coming to sit all the way in your bum, bringing your shoulders over the wrists, back down. And back to center, smaller circles. And in the other direction. Start small and then widen the circle. Coming back to center. Bear with me, my mat is a bit sketchy. <laughs> right. In your tabletop, Bhamanasana. My previous video talks about four variations for Bhamanasana. So check out that video. I'll leave a link at the end of this one for you to check it out. From here, you're going to... So that's a, that's a chair used for, for yenga practices. We'll go into that in another video. Tuck your toes. Look straight ahead. Hover the knees. Holding for one. Holding for two. Holding for three. And press away from the mat. Lifting up your tailbone. Coming into your first inverted V-shape. Your first downward facing dog. Adho Mukho Savanasana. You could place bricks underneath your hands to give you a little bit of extra height if your heels are not on the mat. If they aren't on the mat, please bend your knees and lift up your heels. You're in no rush. There is no rush. You'll get there when you're ready. This is your journey, not anyone else's. So remember that. From downward facing dog, inhale, come forward to Kumbhakasana, Palakasana, high plank, look straight ahead, never look down, we very rarely look down. When you're ready, on the exhale, lower your knees, keeping the elbows tucked in now, this is our, this is our modification, so instead of lowering into your Chaturanga Dandasana, we're lowering into Ashtangasana, eight limbed, so lower down, Carefully, elbows in, our knees, our toes, our chest and our chin are on the floor. On your inhale, slide yourself forward, one straight line into Salabhasana, be locust. Hands are by your chest, fingers spread really wide. And exhale into Balasana, child's pose. You could have a brick or a block or a pillow underneath your forehead if you can't reach the mat. You can also have a brick underneath your bum bum to give you a little bit of extra support. Take a deep breath and exhale out. When you're ready, place the brick or the block or the pillow to one side. Tuck your toes, lift up your knees, and press away from the mat, coming back to your inverted V-shape. So we're going to do that, linking it with breath. Integrating movement with breath. Inhale to high plank, palakasana. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin. Ashtangasana, caterpillar. Inhale to locus, salabhasana, B. Exhale to balasana, child's pose. Inhale, tuck the toes. Hover the knees, lift up the tailbone, back in your inverted V-shape, Adho Mukho Savanasana. Holding here for one, exhale for one, inhale for two, exhale for two. Shoulders away from the ears, arms are straight for three, exhale for three. Feet are hip width distance apart for four, exhale for four. Heels can be up, knees bent for five. Exhale for five. And when you're ready, inhale, come forward to high plank. Lower your knees and just come to sit on your feet. Come back to where you began. If you want to continue with your own practice, enjoy. Otherwise, come back to where you began, where you started. Your Sukhasana, cross-legged easy pose. You've got a belt. You could fold it up. Up it between in between your knee, come back to your cross-legged seat, find your mudra, your seal, chin mudra, sit up tall, take a big inhale, open your mouth and exhale it all out, 
Two more cleansing breaths. Inhale. Ah, big sigh out. This time you're going to stick out your tongue and exhale. Lion's breath out. Deepest inhale of the day. Stick out the tongue. Ah, lion's breath out. Now just bring your hands at your heart center. Anjali Mudra prayer. Keeping the eyes closed, sitting up tall. Come back to your intention that you set at the start, your devotion. Remembering that every little bit makes a difference. Bit by bit, progress, yoga, karma. 20 minutes a day is better than an hour and a half, two hours a week. Please practice love. Please help people that are struggling. Reach out to your neighbors, to your family. Reach out to me if you're struggling. You can find, just, just add a comment. Or send me send me a message on via my blog Sarah K. Picton. Dot blog. I would love to volunteer and help in any way. So just know that you are not alone, and that love is much stronger than fear. Bring your thumbs to the space between your eyebrows, Ajna Chakra. Closing with three Oms and three Shantis. Om, 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 Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Um, Buddha, Sadhguru. Can you say Jai? Open your eyes and give yourself a big clap. Well done. Thank you for coming today. And I hope you're enjoying these videos, these very short videos with a big message. Remembering that yoga is not something we practice on the mat. So please spread that message and I look forward to the next one with you guys. Adios. Bye. <laughs>